If we look at infectious disease, there are two dimensions. One is the warming. The second is the extreme weather events. And warming affects the potential range of infectious disease, specifically those carried by mosquitoes like dengue fever, malaria, in this country, Lyme disease. While the extreme events affect the timing, intensity, and location of outbreaks. So after floods, for example, we get floodplains and flare-up of malaria in some countries. In this country, we get waterborne disease outbreaks like E. coli, cryptosporidium, as clean water becomes contaminated with sewage. In terms of range, in this country, Lyme disease is moving rapidly to the north. We now, over the last decade, we've seen a tenfold increase in Lyme disease carried by ticks, and it's moved up to the border with Canada. Warming is occurring at a greater rate as we move towards the poles, so it's the warmer winters and warmer winters specifically at high latitudes that make the biological indicators, as it were, of warming move even faster than some of our models would show that are driven by average temperatures. For example, it's about one degree warming of Fahrenheit over the last century in the U.S. Maine has warmed two degrees, winters have warmed three degrees. On the other side of the continent, Alaska has warmed three degrees, but its winters have warmed 6.4 degrees. So mosquitoes, melting tundra, pests of forests, and so on.